Wait, I almost forgot. There's actually a secret fifth option for wetlands, and they're really weird. It's like a shiny wetland. Vernal pools are halfway between a bog and a seasonal pond. They form in shallow basins that collect rainwater, but they go through phases of being flooded, waterlogged, and dry. One of the things that makes vernal pools so weird is that the temperature and pH can swing wildly throughout the day. The layer of water is usually pretty thin, so the conditions can change a lot depending on exposure to sunlight. Vernal pools flood during the fall from rain and melting snow, and over the course of fall and winter they play a vital role in the forest ecosystems around them. You see, amphibians fill a vital gap in the food chain between invertebrates and larger animals. And every year, frogs, salamanders, and newts use vernal pools to lay their eggs for the next generation. Vernal pools provide a safe breeding grounds because they're temporary and they're isolated from freshwater sources that would have fish. Over the summer, vernal pools just dry up and look like any old patch of land, and it's then that they're most vulnerable. Land developers who don't know any better or just don't care will come along and build on top of them. We're losing vernal pools rapidly. We've already lost over 90% of the vernal pools in California, a state where they used to be incredibly abundant. After all, it's hard to put protections in place for an ecosystem that's only there some of the time. Check out the video in my bio to learn more about the other types of wetlands and follow for more cool science. All right, getting out of here for real this time. <laughs> oh. <laughs>